So find your seat in your cushion, on a chair, while you're on a cushion. And just planting yourself into the contact point that is supporting you. Just feeling exactly where that contact point is. Maybe you can even shift your body just a little bit back and forth to see, see where that contact point is. And then you can just settle, come to stillness. And I like to do a couple of tensing and relaxation exercises. Well, I want you to grit your teeth, uh, your jaw really tightly. And then let that go on an exhale. You can clench your fists. Clenching, clenching as hard as you can. And then letting that go. Clenching your leg muscles, your quadriceps, hamstring, calves, clenching, making those muscles really tight and hard. Clenching, clenching. And then letting that go. Letting your muscles melt down. Letting gravity help you. Now tense your arm muscles, your biceps, your triceps, your forearms, your shoulders, tensing, tensing. And then letting that go, just let that dissolve. Now your facial muscles, squeezing your face, your forehead, your cheeks, your mouth, your nose. Just squeezing all of your facial muscles. Squeeze, squeezing, and then letting that go. Just letting that evaporate. And now I'd like you to tense your entire body as best you can. Tensing up your fists, your arms, your leg muscles, even your toes, your feet your back, your chest, your stomach, tensing, 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 and then letting that go. Noticing how your body feels after those tensing exercises. Seeing what your muscles feel like in this state of surrender. And noticing your breathing. How are you breathing right now? and checking in with yourself. How are you doing right now? Right at this moment, how are you doing right at this moment? You can let go of whatever happened an hour ago, or this morning, or yesterday, or what you plan to do tomorrow. How are you right now? And noticing any body sensations that are happening in the moment. Noticing how they come and go.
Uh, today I'd like to explore this idea of, of doing and being. I'd like you to bring to your mind a goal, just a single goal in your in your mind that you have, something that you really want to achieve. Bring that to your consciousness. Notice how it feels to want to achieve this goal. Notice any sensations that come up in your body when you think about getting to this goal or a desire to make this happen, make it a reality. It's not quite a reality, but you want to make it a reality. What is, how does that sit in your body? Is it in your stomach area? Is it in your solar plexus and perhaps your chest, your heart? Of course, goals are not necessarily a bad thing at all. They're necessary many times. But it's more about how we relate to the sense of wanting to achieve our goals. Sometimes there's a gap when we notice we may notice a gap between how things are right now and we compare it to how things should be, the goal. And if we dwell too much on the gap, constantly noticing and feeling that we're not where we should be, It could send a spiraling into a negative space. So how can we bridge this gap? Just noticing, again, the sensations, the feelings that come up, that arise when you think about this goal. And when you're ready, you can let that go. And you know, just bring your attention to your posture right now, your sitting posture. Is there a goal here too? Are you doing? something in order for something else to happen? Is there a slight leaning forward into the next moment rather than being right here? Joseph Goldstein talks about this, a great teacher in the Buddhist tradition talks about the sense of leaning forward into the next moment so that you can dot, dot, dot. The sense of doing. If you notice that, can you just give it a nod, acknowledge it and let it go? And when you let that go, notice how you feel, the sensations. Is there a sense of sitting back? Is there a sense of being more in the present moment?
Many of us live our lives like we're running on an operating system, like a computer. We're often in daydreaming from moment to moment, thinking about the past or the future, and almost like a trance. Constantly doing. But when we bring ourselves back and notice that we are lost in that daydream and just bring ourselves back to our bodies with friendliness, we get to interrupt this operating pattern. We get to wake up. from the daydream. So bringing your attention deeper into your body now. Perhaps you want to think about how your limbs feel or maybe the quality of your body as a whole. Is there a sense of lightness, heaviness? Can you feel the air that is making contact with your skin? Can you feel the clothing, the fabric? making contact with your skin. Continuing to open your awareness. Noticing if any sense of doing arises and if it does, just acknowledge it in a friendly manner and let it go. You could even be grateful because that acknowledgement is a way to wake up from our daydream. Now, if you like, you can put your hand on your heart area. Feeling the sensation of the palm of your hand on your chest. Breathing a warm, loving energy into your heart center. Feeling gratitude with practicing on how we can accept ourselves as we are right now. And we can also offer ourselves a little forgiveness perhaps for the times when we are hard on ourselves for not accepting how we are or who we are in the present. Breathing into the heart, thanking yourself.
And when you're ready, you can slowly start to move your body however it feels good for you. And gently open your eyes. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me tonight. I hope to see you again.